Hello and welcome to a new video about Internet of Things. This time we are going to combine our skills in augmented reality and Internet of Things. We want to get data out of, of uh, ThingWorks to be displayed in our augmented reality. Okay, this we are going to do. We have done this thing. We get live data, we should get live data, yeah? and uh, well, yeah, we want to use this live data and display it. We still say this little temperature sensor is our glass temperature. Okay. So these are the remains or what we have done in a previous series of video about virtual and augmented reality. You can watch this. Yeah? Now we are, we base this on this knowledge yeah this is the project we have done last time yeah? in this series of video yeah this is the project for our 2d devices i will open this project now yeah? project is going to be actual actualized this is because i meanwhile install some service packs yeah? I don't know if you remember, this was the dice, there was also the windmill, yeah? so also the windmill, and now we are adding a new view, yeah? and this new view, view I will simply call class. Yeah? Here we want to do the class. What needs to be done? Yeah? What needs to be done? I need a target. I will again use a spatial target, put it there. Zero, zero, that's good. I will call it D floor, uh, target floor, like before. Then we said we need to have the resources, yeah? we need to include uh, a model, yeah? and I've drawn a model, a class model. Yeah? I will select the according files. Yeah? There is my drinking glass. Open. Add. Yeah. So use a model there. Back. Yeah. Select the drinking glass. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. And I will put it to zero zero. Then it's standing right up the spatial target. Here is my drinking glass. Okay. This is how this looks. Plain look through cylinder with a bottom drinking glass. I think you're familiar with this. Right? <laughs> okay, what we want to do, what we want to do is we want to show uh, simply, simply a value, the temperature. And I want to show the temperature right next to the glass. So I will use this 3D gauge here, bug, place it here. Yeah. Where is this located? Yeah. We will use it at x0. Yeah. At y, at y we will use 5 centimeters, and at z we will use 10 centimeters minus. Yeah. Or maybe let's go, let's do it 20 centimeters. Yeah. Then it's far away huh? and it's set on billboard billboard means always facing towards us huh? so this is why we can always read it if we are not doing this billboard huh? it's flat then I would use have to use it zero huh? now what do you say now hmm? I will use billboard in this matter okay here I want to display the temperature. I can even select another, another background yeah? and I will select a matching background. Let's see if there is somewhere a matching background which is, which is suitable. Hmm. Uh, 
battery, battery brake fluid, no. <laughs> electric bolt, also not, flame, fuel, gauge, different gauges, light bulb, on, off, play, rewind, sine wave, stop, thermometer. Therm oh, this is good. This is good. Huh? Now it looks like a temperature. Okay. Now we have to connect to... Uh, we have to display the data, the right data. Huh? This should come from ThingWorks. Okay. So, here on the right hand side, we can press this plus button, external data. We can press this plus button. And now it's asking us about our login data, simply because it wants to connect to ThingWorks. Okay, so we will put our login data. Like said, yeah. if you have your own ThingWorks instance, you should know this. If you are in school with me, I can tell you. And here we have quite some things. And now we already see it did make sense to stick to our naming convention because I know this is our school number, this is my thing. Yeah? Okay, but now it's getting tricky. We are maybe we want to, to, to use here this glass temperature, directly glass temperature. Yeah? But this is, you know. This is not working pretty well, yeah? because, okay, I can get this, yeah? but I don't get refresh. I am you have to use, uh, I am to use these this services, yeah? Dienst in German, services. And there is a service called get property value. I really have to call the service get property value, get description, blah, blah, blah. Get last modification, get met network, K KP, project, property definition, property time, property values, get property values. This is the service I need. Huh? This is the service I need. Huh? Now, I'll close this. Huh? Here we have now, here is this, this class temp, I will remove it again. Huh? Here is the service. Yeah? Here is the service get property value. And under this service get property value, yeah? I have parameters, no? Element. And here is the class temperature. And this class temperature I'm going to bind to here, yeah, and of course to the text, bind. Okay. Now the service get property value with the value class temperature, the property class temperature, is bound to the text of this. Yeah. And as we had it in the mashups, yeah, we also have to take care that uh, we also have to take care that this thing yeah, is executed. Yeah? This can be done in configuration. Whenever we start, yeah? and automatic execution every, I don't know, two seconds. Yeah? Then we will update the value of this. And basically, that's it. Basically, that's it. Yeah? So, we directly connected the value from ThingWorks to here. Let's see with the preview if this is working. Preview. Oh no, not the windmill. Glass. 20.58 degree. If I'm touching this now, uh, maybe I'll show you. Uh, I touch this now. Let's see if this is 20.6. It changed. 24.3. 26. Yeah. Now I'm releasing this. Yeah. It should drop 26.2 uh, because now it's cooling off this temperature 23. Working. Working. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit too big. 
Yeah. Maybe the, the, the letters are a little bit too big. Too big. We can tune this. Yeah. Simply by selecting here 30, 30 peaks. Let's, a pre, let's do a preview again. Ah, glass. Oh, looks better. Looks better. I'm satisfied. We are getting live data. We are getting live data from ThingWorks. I measure here and I got it. Yeah. And now we are going to try this with our real handheld device. Yeah? We are going to try this with with uh, for a few on my on my mobile phone here. Mm -hmm. However, right, I will also change this initial view to class. Yeah? Save it. Yeah? Maybe I'll do it also like so this is the class. Huh? Oh, of course I have to change the studio D. Class. And this is 3D gosh. I will call it uh, 3D. 3D gosh temperature. Okay. Now, <laughs> now it has reasonable names. And now I'll save it once again and I will publish it. At publishing, I'm not it's not necessary to enter now my login data because I already entered the login data for accessing the external data. Okay? So it should work. It should work, hopefully. Yeah? We will see. I will check now with my mobile phone. Okay, so now. I am starting my Wufora Studio app. Book, click it on. Yeah. Then I have to scan, of course, once this is ready. Yeah. Then I have to scan the according thing mark. Oh, here we go. Here's the thing mark. Back. Yes, this is the experience I want to load. Yeah. It's going to be load. Glass. I should place it on a horizontal area. There is it, book. There is the measurement and it's only hashtags. It's only hashtags. Why is this? This is the first time we see it that it's not working well. This is the first time we see that the preview messed up. What can be the reason? What can be the reason? I'll tell you what the reason is. Before I have accessed this external this external data with I was logged in at my computer. So I owns I also need somehow to allow external things, external devices like my handheld device here, to connect to my ThingWorks data. And this is, and how this is done, I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. So what we need to change, of course, is in, Wufo, in, in, in ThingWorks. In Influx, we need to allow this. Two issues are there. This is my thing here. Yeah? And here my thing. I have uh, permissions up here. Yeah? Permissions. Two things are this service is externally not visible. Yeah? From external, I cannot even see that there is the service available. So, a visibility, I simply said to everyone. Everyone can see, well, it's not very safe. Yeah? If you want to have it saved, then you have to go into details. Now we just want to make it work. Okay? So I set the visibility to everyone, okay? And during runtime, there are also some things, yeah? And there is the user group, public access, so from external, and I will allow them to read properties and to execute services, okay? Those two things should be sufficient. Save it, yeah? 
saved successfully. Good. Yeah. Now we have published the service, announced that this service get property values is there, yeah. and we have allowed public access to read the properties and to execute the service. We have not allowed to write properties. Okay. And now let's try exactly the same thing again with the changed permissions. So I have once again started uh, Vuforia and I will once again try to load the experience. Yes, this is the experience I want to load. Yeah. Class thing. Yeah. Ooh. Place it here. Oh, there is already a value. Now it's working. Oh, where's the class? Where's the class? Ooh, let's let's move back. Sometimes it's losing track. Huh? Sometimes it's losing track. This is working better with the HoloLens for sure. Huh? Book, put it here. 21.55 degree. And now I'm touching touching my sensor here. Huh? Touching my sensor. Should increase. Oh. Where's the class? It can, we can also use this Verfolgung zurücksetzen, then we can place it again. Yeah. Oh, 25. Look, it changed. It changed. Touch. 22.7. 32. Woo, I'm a hot guy. Ah. <laughs> you see? Now it's working. Now we said it. Now we re I really got on my mobile phone data which I am measuring here yeah isn't that isn't that nice great great next time we do something similar next time we also want to include our level yeah we want to simulate we want even to simulate here uh, water inside the glass according the measured level okay how we can move things, animate things because of measured values, I will show you next video. This will be next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.